Tosh Omi, I'm general manager of ASP Japan. I want to tell you about the surfing history of Japan. The first boom of surfing history of Japan, I believe it, uh, it's 1962. Uh, American soldier in Yokosuka base and the people bring that couple surfboard by themselves and surfing at searching and surfing at the uh, Kanagawa beach or Chiba beach and then they just hiding their surfboard or each local storage and then the people they they start using their board in in each their locations that that was the beginning of surfing history in japan boom too what was free ride okay take 17. <laughs> that was a 1976 or 78 uh, movie called free ride coming into japan and then they show up in each local community house or whatever uh, the place is and everyone is just go to there and watching brand new movies and then you know we watch uh, stuff like Mark Richards or Wayne David Bartholomew or Sean Thompson's uh, that makes the second boom of the surfing history of Japan and, and you were there Toshi? How I was uh, 15 or 16 we were just grooving at the shop every afternoon and then we, we, we saw at the posters and oh hey this is a <laughs> brand new movies I, we never saw it we gotta go and then we snake into the you know back doors and then watch that movies never buy a ticket that was actually um, 1970s that was the first time the best surfers Sean Thompson and Mark Richards and the, the movies third boom of the surfing history of Japan is the 1980s uh, IPS competition which is ASP World Tour's beginning, coming into uh, Chiba. They, they have a first contest in Chiba and then they they coming here, like Mark Richards, Shane Huang, Rabit Bartholomew, Dan Kiaroha, Michael Hall, all those the huge guys coming into Japan and they, they, they show us how the competition is. So everyone is just start thinking about the competition stuff. People like Tom Carroll, Tommy Kinds, they show up more aggressive surfing and uh, sports athlete games and the people more interesting about those kind of styles. Okay, fourth of generation uh, surfing boom on, uh, in Japan, it's like a retro revival. It's, that's the keyword for this generation, I think. That's people more thinking about the fashion or style in surfing industry. That became uh, more advertising or magazines, sponsorship. It's, everything makes more like a, a step up to uh, industry uh, makes more popular. That was uh, 1991 between 96. That's uh, boom five of uh, surfing history of Japan is the competition, serious competition, ASP World Tours, Dream Tours coming up. So more, more aggressive surfing is coming back. Like people like Kerry Slaters, Andy Irons, all those superstars coming and then everyone wants to watch WCT contest in the beginning of a 2000, like year four or five, six. That makes more, um, makes more, you know, surfing like a superstar sports game. Result of now, of the dream tour of the surfing world, like this, we have a WQS Trigasaki Pro here in Chiba. Makes more people watching web website and everyone is just sending some message and more audience on the internet and like uh, it's, things are changed for now. I hope you enjoy. Uh, story of my uh, Japanese history of uh, surfing. Uh, thank you. <laughs>